computer systems analysts. What Computer Systems Analysts Do Computer systems analysts, sometimes called systems architects, study an organization's current computer systems and procedures and design solutions to help the organization operate more efficiently and effectively. They bring business and information technology together by understanding the needs and limitations of both. Duties Computer systems analysts typically do the following. They consult with managers to determine the role of IT systems in an organization. Research emerging technologies to decide if installing them can increase efficiency and effectiveness. Prepare an analysis of costs and benefits so that management can decide if IT systems and computing infrastructure upgrades are financially worthwhile. Devise ways to add new functionality to existing computer systems. Design and implement new systems by choosing and configuring hardware and software. Oversee the installation and configuration of new systems to customize them for the organization. Conduct testing to ensure that the systems work as expected. Train the systems and users and write instruction manuals. Most computer systems analysts specialize in computer systems specific to their organization. For example, an analyst might work predominantly with financial or engineering computer systems. Computer systems analysts help other IT team members understand how computer systems can best serve an organization by working closely with its business leaders. Computer systems analysts use various techniques, such as data modeling, to design computer systems. Data modeling allows analysts to view processes and data flows. Analysts conduct in-depth tests and analyze information and trends in the data to increase a system's performance and efficiency. Analysts calculate requirements for how much memory, storage, and computing power the computer system needs. They prepare flowcharts or other diagrams for programmers or engineers to build the system. Analysts also work with these people to solve problems after setting up the initial system. Most analysts do some programming in the course of their work. In some cases, analysts who supervise the initial installation or upgrade of IT systems from start to finish may be called IT project managers. They monitor a project's progress to meet deadlines, standards, and cost targets. IT project managers who also plan and direct an organization's IT department or policies are included in the computer and information systems manager's profiles. Many computer systems analysts are general-purpose analysts who develop new systems or fine-tune existing ones. However, some specialized systems analysts are. The following are examples of types of computer systems analysts. Software quality assurance analysts do in-depth testing and diagnose problems of the systems they design. Testing and diagnosis are made to ensure that critical requirements are met. QA analysts also write reports to management recommending ways to improve the systems. Programmer analysts design and update their system software and create applications tailored to their organization's needs. They do more coding and debugging than other types of analysts although they still work extensively with management and business analysts to determine the business needs that the applications are meant to address. Other occupations that do programming are computer programmers and software developers. Work Environment Computer systems analysts held about 607,800 jobs in 2020. The largest employers of computer systems analysts were as follows. Computer systems design and related services account for 26%. Finance and insurance account for 15%. Management of companies and enterprises account for 9%. Information technology companies account for 6%. Government account for 6%. Computer systems analysts can work directly for an organization or as contractors, often working for an information technology firm. Computer systems analysts usually work on projects that require them to collaborate and coordinate with others. Analysts who work on contracts in the computer systems design and related services industry may move from one project to the next as they complete work for clients. Work schedules. Most systems analysts work full-time. Some work more than 40 hours per week. How to Become a Computer Systems Analyst A bachelor's degree in a computer or information science field is joint, 
although not always required. Some firms hire business or liberal arts analysts who have information technology or computer programming skills. Education Computer systems analysts typically need a bachelor's degree in computer and information technology or a related field, such as mathematics. Because these analysts are also heavily involved in a company's business side, it may be helpful to take business courses or major in management information systems. Some employers prefer applicants with a master's degree in business administration MBA, concentrating in information systems. A master's degree in computer science may be more appropriate for more technically complex jobs. Although many computer systems analysts have technical degrees, such a degree is not always a requirement. Many analysts have liberal arts degrees and have gained programming or technical expertise elsewhere. Many systems analysts continue to take classes to learn about new and innovative technologies throughout their careers. Technological advances come so rapidly in the computer field that continual study is necessary to remain competitive. Systems analysts must understand the business field they are working in. For example, a hospital may want an analyst to understand health plans and programs, such as Medicare and Medicaid. An analyst working for a bank may need to understand finance. Knowing their industry helps systems analysts communicate with managers to determine the role of the information technology systems in an organization. Advancement With experience, systems analysts can advance to project manager and lead a team of analysts. Some can eventually become IT directors or chief technology officers. For more information, see the profile on Computer and Information Systems Managers. Important Qualities Analytical Skills Communication Skills Creativity Pay The median annual wage for computer systems analysts was $93,730 in May 2020. The median wage is when half the workers in an occupation earned more than that amount, and half earned less. The lowest 10% earned less than $56,510, and the highest 10% earned more than $152,060. In May 2020, the median annual wages for computer systems analysts in the top industries in which they work were as follows. Information technology companies, $96,430. Management of Companies and Enterprises – $96,170 Computer Systems Design and Related Services – $96,040 Finance and Insurance – $94,040 Government Positions – $82,560 Most systems analysts work full-time, some work more than 40 hours per week. job outlook. The employment of computer systems analysts is projected to grow 7% from 2020 to 2030, about as fast as the average for all occupations. About 47,500 openings for computer systems analysts are projected each year on average over the decade. Many of those openings are expected to result from the need to replace workers who transfer to different occupations or exit the labor force, such as retire. employment. As organizations across the economy increase their reliance on information technology IT, computer systems analysts will be hired to design and install new computer systems. Small firms with minimal IT requirements will find it more cost-effective to contract with outside firms for these services rather than hire computer systems analysts directly. This contracting should lead to job growth for these workers in the data processing, hosting, related services industry, computer systems design, and related services industry. Additional job growth is expected in healthcare fields. Computer systems analysts will be needed to accommodate the anticipated increase in the use and implementation of electronic health records, e-prescribing, and other forms of healthcare IT.